Hi, and welcome to Mimi Math. Today we're going to look at 45-45-90 rules for right triangles. And these are shortcuts for the SAT and quick little reminders on how to solve special right triangles, 45-45-90. Okay, in your SAT booklet, you're going to have a formula or triangle at the very front that looks like this. You're going to have a little triangle, and this is isosceles. Two of the legs are the same, and then you have a hypotenuse. And the rules are, if you know the legs of the isosceles triangle, all you have to do is multiply by the square root of 2 to get the length of the hypotenuse. Also, if you're given the length of the hypotenuse to work backwards, back around to the leg, you would divide by the square root of 2. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I teach this. Okay, here's our first example. I'm going to start off by giving you the easier side. So let's say that we have the side of this leg and it is 5 square root 2. Okay, we automatically know that this other leg must also be 5 square root 2 because we have an isosceles triangle. Now we need to figure out what the length of the hypotenuse is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and look at my original triangle. Well, x is equal to the leg, so that means x is equal to 5 square roots of 2. Now, I need to plug that x into this formula, so I'm going to replace this x with 5 square root 2, and I'm going to multiply it by the square root of 2. So, let's go back down here, and I have 5 square root 2 for x, and I'm going to multiply it by the square root of 2, so I'm going to take that times the square root of 2. Now you need to know a few things about dealing with radicals, but when you have two values in the radical, you can actually multiply those together. So I'm going to have a 5 on the outside, and then the square root of 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, but it's still in the radical, and we know the square root of 4 is 2, so that's going to simplify to 5 times 2, which is 10. So that means the length of that hypotenuse is 10. Okay, so there's the first one. That's where you're given a leg and you're working to the length of the hypotenuse. All you do is take the length of the leg and multiply it times the square root of 2 to get that hypotenuse. Now, let's work this one backwards. Okay, let's say instead of being given a leg, we're given the hypotenuse. So let's say that we're given the hypotenuse and it measures 20. And we've got to work backwards and figure out what the length of the leg is. Well, think about that for a minute. Which one is longer? Is the hypotenuse longer or is the leg longer? Well, I hope you said the hypotenuse because we're going to have to make this smaller. Now, let's use our formula that we're given up here. Okay, based on this triangle, we're given the hypotenuse. So the formula for the hypotenuse is x squared root 2. So I'm going to take 20 and I'm going to set it equal to x times the square root of 2. Now to get the x by itself to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. Okay, well this side, the square roots of 2 just cancel, but over here I've got to simplify 20 divided by the square root of 2. Well you can't just divide those because 20 is not in a radical and the square root of 2 is, so I'm going to rationalize that by multiplying the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. So the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4, which just comes out as a 2. And then I've got on top 2 times radical, or the square root of 2 times 20. And you put the 20 in front because it's the coefficient. And so we end up with two, 20 square root 2 over 2. Now that simplifies because these two are both out of the radical, so let's just divide those. That ends up being 10 square root 2. So that's the length of this side, but we know the two legs are congruent to each other, so I can identify that as 10 square root 2 also. Okay, so that's how you find, go from the hypotenuse and back to find a leg. Now let's go down and look at one more problem here. Okay, we're given a square. It says given that the diagonal is 10, find the perimeter of the square. Okay, well what does this square have to do with 45, 45, 90 triangles? Well, if you remember, a square has four right angles. And this diagonal is cutting this angle in half, so that angle is 45, and that angle is 45. And we're going to need to know that to solve and work back to one of these legs. Okay, so I have 
if I cover up half of this, I'm given the hypotenuse. So remember up top, our hypotenuse is equal to x square root two, and our hypotenuse is equal to 10. So let's solve for x. So divide both sides by the square root of two, and I end up with x equals 10 divided by the square root of two, but I need to rationalize that. So let's multiply by root two over root two. So that's gonna be 10 root two over, and then root two times root two is just two. So that's five root two. So that side's five root two. That bottom is, because it's an isosceles triangle. This one's five square root two. And then we know the top is five square root two. And we know this side's five square root two. So how do you find the perimeter? Well, you add them all up. So five, 10, 15, 20. 20 square root two would be the answer to the perimeter. And that's how you use the rules for 45, 45, 90 to help you solve problems on the SAT.